everyone, Juliana here, and today I'm sharing with you my take on the ombre background technique using distress inks. I know many of you have probably seen the fabulous video Jennifer McGuire recently shared. After watching her video and going through my products and supplies, I came up with a little different take on it and I wanted to share it with you. For my example, I'm using the beautiful spring stamp set by Newton's Nook Designs. I position the stamps on my Stamp Perfect stamp positioning tool and I'm stamping them with Versamark embossing ink onto watercolor paper. Before embossing, I like to wipe down the paper with an anti-static bag to help prevent the embossing powder from sticking where I don't want it to stick. And as you can see, I store mine in an Altoid tin. It helps control the mess and it keeps me from losing it. I'm embossing the image with white embossing powder and heat setting them with a heat gun. Once that section is embossed, I use a car chamois to clean my stamps and then reposition them to stamp the top half of the paper. I was in a little bit of a hurry and forgot to wipe off the stamps with a clean paper towel before I re-stamped them. And you'll see a faint black image. Thankfully the embossing powder will hide this. Now I mentioned using watercolor paper and I've found that this is the key to success for me with ink blending. I use Strathmore 400 series and when I use watercolor paper I never get those harsh ink edges from the blending tools. The ink doesn't soak into the paper right away so you have time to play with it a little bit. I usually stamp off the excess and then starting at the top of the paper I apply the ink using the blending tool. As I'm adding ink to the paper there will obviously be less ink on the sponge so I gradually work my way down the paper to achieve a nice faded effect. And then I just add more ink onto the top until I get it as dark as I want to achieve the desired look. And there you have it. The perfect ombre ink blended background every time. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed learning some new tips and tricks on working with distress ink and creating an ombre background. For more inspiration and to see more of my projects, feel free to visit my blog, 17turtles.com.